Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about logical equivalence propositions. Our objectives first is to identify logically equivalent propositions and illustrate different forms of conditional propositions. So remember, when two propositions P and Q are logically equivalent, so denoted by P and the symbol, uh, the symbol is for equivalent, no? If they have the same truth values for all possible truth values of their simple components. Logical equivalence can also be expressed in terms of by conditional statement. Okay, so, so during grade 8 yun, napag-aralan yung by conditional statement, right? So the two propositions... P and Q are logically equivalent if D. If the propositions, okay, so the symbols is always true. Okay, so ito ay maaaral natin for the next video lesson. No? So next. So let's say, so kailangan, lagi yung tandaan, so magiging logical equivalence lang yung dalawang proposition kapag Yung, dalaw, yung truth values nila are the same. So, equal yung truth values nila. So, let's say meron tayong uh, if P then Q. So, ito ay conditional statement. No? So, if P then Q, so dapat equivalent, equivalent daw siya sa negation of P or yung not P or Q. So, ang basa natin dito is or, right? Okay, so this junction yan eh. So, ang gagawin natin, gawa tayo ng truth table. Okay? Para makumpara natin, makumpara natin using the truth table na yung uh, truth values nito ay equal sa truth values nito. Okay? So, ang unang yung gagawin para ma-check at ma-verify na itong uh, statement na to ay equal dito sa statement na to. Okay? So, gamit uh, using our truth table, Okay, so ito yung truth table for uh, conditional statement, no? So kung balikan niyo yung previous video lesson, meron doon sa truth table uh, na discuss na jo, na discuss na doon yung truth table at yung truth value sa ng uh, conditional statement. So ito yon. So magfo-false lang siya kapag yung Q natin ay false. So the rest true. Okay? So, next dyan, since meron tayong negation ng P, so kapag nag-negate tayo ng isang statement, diba, uh, kabaliktaran lang. So, kung dito ay true, so dito, false. So, true din doon, kaya dito, false. And then, yung naiwang dalawa, false, false, so dito ay true, true. Next. So, kukunin na natin, kukunin na natin yung truth values nito. No? Yung not P or Q. Ngayon, so, saan tayo titingin para makuha natin yung uh, value nito? So, tingin tayo sa fourth column natin. Ito, yung pang fourth column natin. At yung second column natin. Since dito is or, or that is for this junction. Okay, so, babalikan nyo, o uh, i-recall nyo yung truth table ng uh, this junction. Okay, again, so para makuha natin yung truth value nito, kailangan natin balikan yung truth table ng disjunction para uh, makuha natin yung value. So, first, tingin tayo sa fourth column bago sa second column. So, if that is, yung first natin is false and then yung pangalawa nating statement is true. So, ano yan? False, true. So, therefore, that is true. Again, kapag sa disjunction, mag uh, Mag-ano lang siya, magpo-false lang siya kapag yung dalawang statement natin ay false. Okay, next, false, false. Okay, so ito, false to. Kasi dalawa. True, true. So, ano yung truth value ng dalawang true? That is true also. And then, true din to. So, kung titignan natin class, yung pangatlo at panglimang column natin, they have the same truth values. So, therefore, masasabi natin na uh, yung given natin that the if P then Q ay equivalent sa uh, negation of P or Q. Okay. So, yan ang isang halimbawa ng logical equivalence. 
So, meron tayong different theorem about uh, o tinatawag ring table of logical equivalence. So, pero hindi ko neto isa-isahin i-discuss sa inyo kasi madidiscuss din natin ito sa mga susunod na examples. So, ito yung mga uh, pwede nating uh, gawing guide no? para ma-solve natin o maka mamaya sa pagkuha natin ng uh, equivalence ng given. So, pwede natin gamitin yung mga ito, yung identity law, domination law, idempotent law, inverse, double negation, associative law, commutative, distributive, de Morgan's absorption, and switchero. Okay, so dito meron tayong dalawa, no? Dalawang uh, uh, symbol na ginagamit. Okay, so meron tayong dalawa dito, which is the, itong symbol na is for and, no? Conjunction and ito disjunction or naman to. So kumbaga ito for multiplication and this one is for addition. I think ah uh, yeah, so yung and kasi ginagamit natin sa logic ba pag at. Okay, so let's proceed for example number 2. So using logical equivalence, yes, verify that uh, negation of if p then q ay equivalent sa uh, P and not Q. Okay, so again, kunin daw na, uh, i-verify daw natin kung equivalent yung negation ng if P then Q sa P and not Q. Okay, first, so gamit ito class, gamit ito, masasagot natin yan. First is, ilagay muna natin yung una. Okay, ito. Kasi pwede class na ito yung unahin nyo o kaya ito. So, ito dito, ito yung gawin natin. Itong simula natin. So, ito yung given natin. So, itong given natin, kung tatakpan natin ito, so, yung if P then Q, tingnan nyo to class, so, anong law ang pwede natin gamitin? Yung switch zero law, okay? So, yan, no? Kapag ito daw ay equivalent sa not P, or Q. So, makikita nyo na nandiyan pa rin yung negation sa labas. And then ito, papalitan na natin ng not P or Q kasi equivalent siya doon. And then, after nito, after nito, so anong law yung ginamit natin using switch law? So, ito class, after nito, anong possible na law nang pwede natin i-apply? No? Meron tayong not P or Q. Yes. Pwede natin gamitin yung De Morgan's Law. So, ito. Okay? Pwede natin gamitin yan. So, mula dito, nandiyan pa rin yung negation sa labas. So, mula dyan, magiging not P and not Q na ngayon. So, itong uh, ano na to class, ginawa natin using the De Morgan's Law na equivalent siya sa not P and not Q. Okay? So, using the De Morgan's Law. And after that, sa so ito pwede natin ma-simplify. So parang ano yan, negative times negative, so positive. Or using the no double negation, di ba yung double negation? So that is equivalent na lang siya sa P. And P and not Q. So nakuha na natin using the dob double negation. So tama ba na ito ay equal or equivalent dito sa ano na to? Okay? Sa propositions na to. Okay? Alright. So, so na-verify natin na ang negation ng if P then Q ay equivalent sa P and not Q. Next. Okay. Sa so, using the logical equivalence, ganun pa din. I-verify natin kung ang P and Q daw ay equivalent sa negation of the quantity not P or not Q. Okay, so, i-verify e natin kung equivalent ba sila. Okay, first, ilagay natin yung given. Okay, by the way, class, uh, sa example number 3 natin, so, ang una natin ginamit is yung ito, yung pangalawa. No? Yung pangalawa. So, mula dyan, kailangan mag-equal siya dito. So, kailangan... Uh, makarating tayo sa ganito para ma-verify natin na they are equivalent. So, first, so, using the De Morgan's Law, okay, kasi 
di ba using the D Morgan's note nakita nyo alright so ito class ito yan okay not P or not Q so magiging ano siya class okay so for not P or not Q ano mangyayari dito that will become yes so magiging end okay so the negation of not P and then babalik ta rin natin okay so babalik ta rin nyo Okay, wait. Okay, so after nito class, after nito, using the De Morgan's law, so after nyan, ano ang mangyayari? Okay, nakita nyo, from or naging end. Okay, so tingnan natin dito class. Okay, so kasi kapag uh, sinabtitute mo yan, so the equivalent siya dito. Okay, or di, uh, ito pala ito. Pag sinabtitute mo ito, so magiging equivalent sa, sa ganyan. Okay, now, after ng D. Morgan's Law, anong next natin? Anong susunod natin gagawin? Okay, so ito using double negation. No? Pwede natin kunin to using double negation. At yan ay magiging P. And then, parang ano yan? Negative times negative. So, P na lang. The negative times negative, that is Q. Okay, using the double negation. And then, after nito, meron bang next dyan? Okay, P and Q. So, saan dyan? So, yung commutative law. Saka, pwede natin gamitin yung commutative saka using the associative law. Okay. So, ah, okay. So, na ano na pala natin? Nakuha na pala natin yung uh, equivalent. Kasi, ang gusto lang naman natin i-verify kung ito ba yung P and Q ay equivalent dito. Okay, so na-verify natin na they are equivalent. Next. Okay, for example number 4, so yung negation of P, if uh, if not P, uh, then Q, so medyo ma mahaba tong statement na to, no? So, basta ito ay negation of P or not P, so that is, if not P, okay, then Q, okay, so then if Q, then R, okay, kasi F and then lagi yung statement na to, yung symbol na to. So, tingnan natin kung they are equivalent sa F, Q, then uh, the quantity of P or R, okay, meron tayong tatlong uh, ano dito, propositions, P, Q, and R. So, medyo mahaba, no? Medyo mahaba. So, paano natin gawin na kailangan ma-verify natin na itong proposition na to ay equal dito, no? Sa proposition na to. So, simulan natin. So, using the given, so not P. So, tingin tayo dito sa table natin. Ano yung pwede natin i-apply? So, kung meron tayong not P, so tingnan nyo dyan, ano yung pwede natin i-apply? Yes, Using, okay, ito lang ang pwede nyong i-apply dyan. Okay, so yung not P, okay, yung not P pwede natin i-apply yung ganito. Okay, so kasi di ba kanina, tingnan nyo class. Yung P natin, yung P natin, so naging not P. And then, from simula, mula dito sa symbol na to, naging ganito siya. Okay, naging uh, or. So, double negation ang gagawin natin dito. Since uh, meron tayong dalawang symbol na ganyan, so double negation, that is P or, tapos Q, if Q then R. So, after nyan, ano ang possible na pwede natin gamitin? So, P or, okay, hanap tayo. Yes, tama po, using, uh, using the, okay, switch row again, no? using the switch row again. So, yung P natin, so magiging that will become, Okay, so not Q or R. Okay, so after that, after that, anong next natin gagawin? Kasi using the double negation, meron tayong isang ginawa. So after nyan, okay, so after nyan, pwede natin, pwede natin ito class. Okay, so... Again, so dito class, group natin yung not Q sa kayong or R. So, dito naman ang magka-group yung P or R. So, using the associative and commutative law. 
And after that, since not Q, so that it will become Q. Okay, so negation of Q, so maging positive. So, magiging Q na lang siya. Okay, so makikita natin, so makikita nyo class, na this one, using the uh, switchero, we can say that they are equal. So, but, okay, but, so using switchero class, hindi natin, dapat ma-change natin ito. So, ma-change natin, kasi ganyan yun, di ba class? So, pwede yung magkabaliktad. Okay, so palitan lang natin ng symbol. Okay, again, na-verify natin na they are equal. So, up next. Okay, let P and Q be propositions. So, construct the two table for each of the following condition. So, if P then Q, if Q then P, so not P, uh, if not P, then not Q. If not Q, then not P. So, i-verify natin, no? Okay, first, using the conditional statement, okay, the true table for conditional statement. So, ang makukuha natin, okay, first, kunin natin yung negation ng P. So, kapag kinukuha lang naman yung negation, kabaliktaran. So, kung true, true, false, false. So, dito, false, okay, so, okay, ito pala yung mga kukunin pa natin, no? Kunin natin itong mga truth values nito. Okay, so, tingnan natin mamaya kung sino yung mga... Uh, kung sino-sino dyan yung equal, yung mga equivalent. So, sa not P, ba, kabaliktaran lang nito, no? So, kung true siya, dito ay false. False, false, true, true. So, ganun din dito sa not Q or negation ng Q. So, kabaliktaran din nitong column na to. So, that is false, true, false, true. And then, yung uh, truth values ng conditional statement natin, So, ang sabi dito, magpo-false lang siya kapag yung Q natin ay false. The rest, true na. Okay? So, that is, so kung titingnan natin true, true, that is true. True, false, so dito siya mag-false. False, true, that is true. False, false, that is true. Dito naman, kabaliktaran. So, mula dito, tingnan natin papunta pa ganun, no? Second column muna tayo tingin. Bago first column, using the truth table ng uh, conditional. So, false true. So, true pa rin. True false, ito false to. And then, false false, that is true. And then, not P. So, tingin tayo sa not P sa third column. And then, sa fourth column natin. Then, using uh, condition, the truth table for conditional pa rin. No? So, not P and not Q. So, again, Magpo-false lang kapag yung uh, pang yung Q natin ay false, no? Okay, kap pero kapag uh, dalawang false, still that is true. So tingnan natin, dalawang false, so therefore true 'yan. False true, true. True false, false. True true that is true. Okay, yung last, okay, titingnan natin pabaliktad naman, no? So simula tayo sa fourth column papunta sa third column so false false that is true true false that is false false true that is true and true true okay so true siya so ano yung na-observe nyo so ma-observe nyo dyan na yung pang fifth column natin at saka yung pang eighth column natin they are equal so yung if P then Q ay equal sa not Q and Uh, if not Q, then not P. So, sila yung equal. So, therefore, yan, yung sinabi ko. And then, ito din, equal din sila. No? Same din yung truth values nila. So, therefore, sila ay logical equivalence then. Okay? So, yung if Q, then P. So, equivalent siya sa if not P, then not Q. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.